Hello viewers, welcome to K-Diagnostics, Dio here. Today we have a 2011 VW Jetta with a 2.0 liter. The customer complaint on this vehicle is the blower motor only works on the highest speed. When you turn the blower motor switch to the first setting, it doesn't work. It only works on the fourth setting, which is the highest speed. I have an idea of what's going on with this problem. I know what's causing this, so I'm going to show you how you can quickly find out what causes the blower motor to only work on the highest speed. So now let's go inside the vehicle and confirm the customer's complaint first, and then I'll tell you how we can fix this. All right, so we're gonna confirm the customer's complaint. I'm gonna turn the key on. So here is our blower motor switch. As you can see, the switch is at zero, so we're gonna go to the first speed. So right now, if everything was good, we should have heard air blow out of these vents, okay? As you can hear, nothing's blowing out of these vents. Let's make sure that our setting over here is on the vent, okay? So first, setting nothing let's go to the second setting nothing is happening let's go to the third setting nothing so fourth so right there i hope you can hear that i hope the camera is picking this up so on the fourth setting now air is blowing out of these vents so even this one i can feel air blowing out of this okay but only on the fourth setting when we go back to the third setting, everything is quiet, okay? So the blower only works on the fourth setting, okay? So let's turn this off. So customer's complaint confirmed. So right off the bat, I know that this is caused by a defective blower motor resistor. There is a resistor over here below the glove box the job of the resistor is to vary the current flow that goes to the blower motor to change the speed of the blower motor itself now when that blower motor resistor goes bad it doesn't do its job anymore so what happens is that it causes these other settings to not work but on the fourth setting the wire that goes to the resistor and the blower motor is actually bypassed okay there's a bypass there to send power basically from the switch i mean from the control module all the way to the blower motor itself so on the fourth setting the resistor is bypassed so that's why the blower is working right now because we are not using the resistor on the fourth setting okay so what we're going to do is we're just not going to replace the resistor. We have to make sure that the wiring of the resistor is good. I'm going to grab a test light. We have to check for power at the resistor. If there's power at the resistor, then we're just going to go ahead and replace the resistor. And from experience, 99% of the time, when you have a blower motor that only works on the highest setting, the problem is usually the resistor itself. So now let's go to the passenger side and check for power at the blower resistor electrical connector. If there is power, then we're gonna replace the resistor and this should be fixed. Now, if you replace the resistor and the problem is still there, your problem will most likely be a defective switch or a problem in the wiring between the switch and the resistor, okay? Or the control unit, because the switch actually is part of this control unit over here and then uh, there's a wiring there, there are wires that go from this control unit to the resistor okay but in this case i'm pretty sure the problem is just the resistor so now let's go to the passenger side and check the wiring and then we're going to replace the resistor so now let's do that all right guys so we are here under the glove box so here is the electrical connector of the blower motor resistor so we're going to use this test light to check the wiring of the blower motor resistor. 
I have my test light connected to ground. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach each wire, okay? To make sure that these wires get power, okay? When we change our settings on the switch. So as you can see right now, I'm touching all these wires. Our switch is at zero right now. So as I'm touching these wires, actually, the test light is not lighting. Okay, so the key is on. So now I'm gonna switch our blower switch to the first setting. So first setting, so we're testing the first wire, red wire with the black tracer. So nothing there. Second wire, okay, red wire with a yellow tracer. As you can see, test light lights. So red wire with a yellow tracer. As you can see, the test light light, so that's good. Second wire, black wire, with a white tracer, test light light. So, third one, I mean fourth one, same thing, test light light. So, this, or I don't have to go through all the settings, okay? This already tells me that our wiring is good, okay? So when I go to the fourth setting, as you can, you can probably hear the blower now, and the test light goes out because on the fourth setting, all these wires are bypassed. We only send power to this wire. Okay, so this wire over here, this red wire with the black tracer, only gets power when the switch is on the fourth setting. So right now I'm on the first setting, second setting, okay, third setting. When I go to the fourth setting, as you can see, the test light is lit and the blower is working. So. The wiring is good. We're just gonna replace this resistor and this problem should be fixed. So let's disconnect the resistor wire. Okay, so everything looks good. Now we're gonna remove the resistor. Look at the resistor, guys. The resistor looks burnt. Okay. This you see how dark this resistor is? So the resistor looks burnt, so we're gonna replace that. So let's get this out of the way. Now, I already got a new resistor from VW, right there. So let's get this out of the box. So here is the new resistor. So let's compare it to the old one. Right there, as you can see, they both look identical. Okay, so that's good. Now let's install the new resistor. So you're basically just gonna slide it in all the way up and then you push back. So you slide it in all the way up and then push back. Now we're gonna reconnect the electrical connector. So that's good. So now let's test our repair. All right, so we are here at the switch. The key is still on on the dash. So let's go to the first setting. I don't know if you can tell, but there's definitely air blowing out of these vents. So let's go to the second setting. I hope the camera is picking this up, but there's air blowing out of these vents. Let's go to the third one. So right there, third setting. I can hear air blowing out. So last one, fourth setting. Okay, that's full blast. As you guys can hear, there's a lot of air coming out of these vents. So now let's go down to the third setting. So we are on the third setting right now and there's still air coming out of these vents. Remember before, we didn't have any air come out of these vents when the switch was between the first setting and the third setting. Right now, even if we go down to the second setting, there is still air coming out. Okay, so this is fixed. So I'm gonna leave this right over here, guys. I hope you like this video. This is how you fix a blower motor 
that only works on the highest speed on a VW. So I hope you like this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.